Hi, welcome. So we've got a question here in circles and let me first share my screen so that we can discuss on the question. Right. So here I've shared and yes, here we are. All right. So I'll place myself here. All right. So <clears throat> we have got two circles, which has drawn here. I've, you know, sort of drawn them here. And the radius of each of these circles is basically five centimeters and three centimeters. They are both intersecting each other at two points, which is P and Q. You can see it here, here it is P and here it is Q. All right. So, and the distance between these, between these centers, distance between the centers of these two circles is basically four centimeter. All right. And what we need to do is we need to find out the length of the common chord, right? So now, first of all, what we need to figure out is that where is this common chord? And now let's just, you know, mark these points properly, P and Q, where these two circles are intersecting. And when we connect these two points, we get the common chord that is PQ and we need to find the length of this particular chord. Now, let us also mark the centers of these two circles. Suppose they're here. Okay. And we'll connect these two circles. All right. So here it is. And suppose say this is A and say this is B and these two, like the the this, the line connecting the centers and the chord, suppose they are intersecting each other at point M, right? And what is also given is uh, the radii of the two circles. So if we connect A with P, that's the radius of the circle, of the bigger circle. So we can say this is five centimeters. And similarly, if we connect P with the center of this circle that is the that's the radius of the smaller circle bp and that is going to be three centimeters right similarly let's also connect this one okay let me just make it a little better all right let me try once more all right not bad and here I connect this. Now these are also the two radii. So this is also going to be five centimeter and this is going to be the, this is going to be three centimeters. Now, <clears throat> before we try to attempt the length of uh, chord PQ, and that is what we need to find out. We need to find out the length of P all right so this is what we need to find out now before we try doing this let's first consider the two triangles here and that is triangle a p b and triangle a q b okay now, if we see these two triangles, what we can say is that AP is equal to AQ. AP is equal to AQ and they are the common radii or you can say not the common radii, they are the radii of the same circle, right? They are the radii of the same circle. Similarly, we can also write B P is equal to B Q. And they are also the radii of the same circle. That is the smaller circle, right? Apart from this, we've got A B, right? Is equal to A B because that's the common side for both the triangles. And having said that, you know, having said these three properties, 
we can say that these two triangles are congruent to each other and when they are congruent to each other that means these two angles okay we can say that angle p a b is equal to angle q a b right now we will use this relationship uh, as we move ahead in this question and now what we will do is we will consider two more triangles and we will establish the relationship of congruency between those two triangles and we will find out another relationship which is going to be useful for us in solving this question. So these two triangles which we are now going to consider are we need to consider triangle A, P, M and triangle uh, <clears throat> B, P, M. Okay. Sorry, we need to, we'll be considering A, P, M and A, Q, M. Yes. Now, here what we can say is that AP is equal to AQ because that's the radii. Okay. Um, AM being common, that's the common side between the two triangles. And obviously, we had just established that angle P A M is equal to angle Q A M. And hence, these two triangles, these two triangles are also congruent to each other. And when these two triangles are congruent to each other, then we can have multiple relationship, which is like one which is going to be useful for us is that PM is equal to QM. Okay. The other relationship which we can write is that angle PMA is equal to angle QMA and that's going to be 90 degree. Right. So what we can do is we can mark it here like this is 90 and this is 90 and these two lines pm is equal to qm we just proved it all right now we are going to use this relationship especially that this is a right angle here and with the help of this we'll now further solve the question so let's just you know have some space here And then we'll start. Oops. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll now consider the two triangles again. And before that, let's assume, let's suppose that PM is equal to X. And if PM is equal to X, then obviously BM will be 4 minus X. Right? Because, because AB is equal to 4. So these are the two things which we are now taking. And we'll take the first, let us consider the triangle AMP. Now with the help of Pythagoras theorem, what we can say is that P M square is equal to 25 minus X square, right? Similarly, in triangle B M P, 
we can say that pm square is equal to 9 minus 4 minus x square or we can also say that 9 minus 16 minus x square plus 8x now what we can do is we can simply you know take the value of pm square and put it here so what we can now say is that you know we can say that 25 x square is equal to from here we'll get it like minus 7 we can say minus x square plus 8x now we'll simplify this and we can write x square gets cancelled with this so what we can write is that 8x is equal to 32 and hence x is equal to 4 now we'll put the value of x we'll put the value of x in this particular equation and from here we can simply calculate the value of pm so if we do that then we get the value of pm as pm is equal to square root 25 minus 9 minus 4 16 sorry because that's 4 is going to be the 4 square so that's going to be 16 and that will be square root 9 and that comes to 3 so that means here pm is equal to 3 now what we did was that with the help of you know these two triangles this part we found the length of pm similarly we will instead of taking these two triangles we will take the triangle q a q m a and we will take triangle q m b and we can simply find out the value of qm from here and we will find that qm is all equal to pm and apart from this we don't have to do really so much of hard work because we had also proven that you know these two lines pm is equal to qm in the earlier part of our solution so we can easily say that if pm is coming to 3 centimeter if pm is coming to 3 centimeter that means bm is also 3 centimeters and the length of our chord length of our chord pq is we know that it is equal to pm plus bm that is 3 plus 3 and that makes it 6 centimeters right so this is how we could solve it and i hope you guys enjoyed it and understood it we'll be coming soon tomorrow with the next video on circles its theorems and questions keep watching thank you so much bye bye